I'd like to have someone come up and give their testimony at this time, and then we'll close that. study uh, Sister White's writings uh, to uh, um, kind of make me feel good. I would find something that I thought uh, would allow me to do, you know, instead of uh, not to do. And uh, so um, that, but that, uh, that text in the Bible in Deuteronomy 22.5, we're not to wear things that pertain to a man. And I said, Lord, you know I wouldn't wear a necktie, and I wouldn't wear a vest or a man's boots, but what about the trousers? And then he said, yeah, what about that? You mean I'd have to give up my pants? Mm-hmm. I could just see him smiling up there, yes. That's what, that's what it means. And uh, so I said, oh, I don't know if I can do that or not. I love my pants. I just, I love them. I have dozens of pairs. I just, um, Lord, you're asking too much. And so uh, it went on for a while. And I don't know, he directed me to a secondhand store. And uh, I found a dress that I could wear to church. And it was just the right length. It's about nine inches above the boot, you know, like they say. I said, well, thank you, Lord. I'll just take that home. And then I found a dress that I could wear during the day. And I just kept adding to my little collection. And then, uh, then there <laughs> came a time when I had the closet full, and, and it was it's time to cut off my arm. I thought, Lord, I don't know if I can get rid of all my pants or not. But, you know, he helped me do it. I got rid of every one. He said, get rid of them and it won't tempt you. And I did that, and you know, I've never been tempted to wear it at all since that time. And I just praise the Lord for that. Amen. He took it out of my heart. And uh, I don't know how it is with if these ladies around here, but, uh, you know, if you um, put your trust in the Lord and he'll help you get rid of anything that you're not supposed to have. Now, I have other issues to work on now <laughs> since I got rid of that. Maybe I'll tell you about that sometime. But uh, <clears throat> instead of uh, trying to look as much like the world and still be saved is a wrong attitude. I'm just trying to tell you to look at it from a different angle and uh, a, a, a dress to please the Lord. Don't don't dress to, to please anybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to please Jesus with your dress. And now I can walk into the grocery store and Jesus is walking beside me. He's got on his long coat mm -hmm. and I've got my long dress on and I don't care what they think about me. I just, I'm just happy that he's He's with me. And I just, he told me last night, 12 o'clock, he said, you need to give your testimony. I said, I don't know if I can do that or not. And so, I'm not pointing the fingers at any, anybody, but it's just, whatever you want to do, God will help you do it. Amen. 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 appreciate your testimony because sometimes if we waver in asking the Lord and we decide
say that oh, it's not that bad, or I'll get rid of it later, or you know, it's it's when he impresses you and talks to you about it. Do what he asks right then and there. Don't don't belabor it. Don't try to reason out that it's okay or or I'm not ready. Just do it. And like you said, get rid of all of it so it's not a temptation. The people who try to quit smoking leave one pack on the shelf just to prove that they've got the victory. No, get it out of the house. Get rid of it. And it's not, it's not there to tempt you. So the Lord had impressed you to do that, for you don't know who. Instead of uh, trying to look as much like the world and still be saved is a wrong attitude. I'm just trying to tell you to look at it from a different angle and, uh, and uh, dress to please the Lord. Don't, don't dress to, to please anybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to please Jesus with your dress. And now I can walk into the grocery store Jesus is walking beside me. He's got on his long coat, mm -hmm. and I've got my long dress on, and I don't care what they think about me. I just, I'm just happy that he's, he's with me. And so I'm not pointing the fingers at any, anybody, but it's just whatever you want to do, God will help you do it.